Let me know once you are ready. Yes. Just confirming if my entire screen is visible. Yes. Okay. We can start. Yeah. Your time starts now. Right. As you wish, you will be a prince. It's a special day for a special child. There's a special treat. Ooh, Britannia it's Bobby. It's a special biscuit with chocolate cream. It's so good to eat. Ooh, Britannia Bobby. Bourbon chocolate cream biscuits from Britannia. This must have struck a chord in your hearts, right? Bourbon biscuits indeed meant a special treat when we were kids. A treat which we often cherished as a dessert or a gift on special occasion. This legacy brand, however, kept losing its image over time. And with increase in number of competitors, Bourbon lost its title of being a special treat to being known as a mummy papa biscuit. With competitors like Oreo rapidly growing in the minds of the youth, Bourbon's biggest challenge was to become relevant in amongst the youth again. Thus was born Bourbon's purpose, fueling real friendships. The journey, however, took a major setback for the brand due to the pandemic. It not only separated friends due to the lockdown, but also changed physical hangouts to virtual hangouts. This brought in another major hurdle for us, and we had to build a strategy of how to re-enable real friendship moments that could happen in the same physical space after two long years. We decided to capitalize key passion points which basically connected the youth, which included gaming, football, and travel. We then decided to get this married with the largest tournament of 2022, the FIFA World Cup hosted in Qatar. Here's presenting to you Bourbon's Football Friends Contest. No, 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 this was not it. Given the tough competition we were facing and the consumer we were chasing, we really had to step up our game. We thus decided to leverage technology to bring the contest alive and keep the game on tech was in integrated in the package itself. The journey started off with a simple scan of the product, which, in, which helped in the engagement, which further connected uh, the QR code leading to an AR game. This game enabled two friends to play together. There were extra points if BFFs played in the, on the same device and shared the score on the social media platform. The final stage of the contest was Bourbon's very first e-sport e tournament hosted where the finalists were sent to fight one final battle under one single roof. The winners of this tournament were then sent for a trip to Qatar to watch the FIFA semi-finals. This campaign was further amplified with a 360 degree approach with specific roles assigned to each medium. TV was used as a lead medium to maximize reach in the target mar markets. The role of digital was multifold, drive incremental reach, impact and build engagement. The activation was further amplified across POS and quick commerce. We use multiple touch points to reach the consumers a five-week video amplification across TV and YouTube, which starred Hardik Pandya and Shreya Sayar. We also included impact present across India versus Australia series on Hotstar. This was further amplified through a social amplification in, through influencers like Tanmay Bhatt and Samay Rana, uh, and Rana. There was a flurry of social media posts, which included explainer teasers, uh, topical posts, leaderboard announcement, etc. The visibility was also amplified across 100 plus retail stores and impactful assets to aid visibility. We further amplified this through a live commerce on Flipkart. Let's see how we, all of this came together. 
For the last 60 years, Britannia bourbon has been the favorite chocolate snack of multiple generations of BFFs. Cut to 2022, while the brand retained a strong, loyal consumer base, it wasn't recruiting new trialists fast enough, leading to a loss in market share. So we had to act quick. Youngsters formed the largest group of pivotal consumers of the category, and we had to create a platform to recruit them. We leveraged the fact that the new generation of best friends were looking to spend more time together after two years of lockdown. So we grabbed their attention with what they loved the most, gaming, travel, and football. And the craze around the Football World Cup became the perfect opportunity to tie it all in. To be the best in the game, we created a game of our own. One that needed strategy, coordination, and a BFF. It all began with a scan that took the participants to an AR battle, where BFFs had to be the GOAT to see the GOAT play live at the biggest football game of the year. We got India's favorite athletes and stand-up comics to join the game and created a 360-degree experience for our consumers. And within no time, people all over India were buying the special edition packs, scanning them and playing the AR game to make it to the top 32. Next off, we invited the top teams to take part in one of the largest esports football tournaments held by an FMCG brand and catch the semi-finals in Qatar. While the winners got to witness the ultimate game live, the rest got to continue their gaming and entertainment journey with gaming consoles and OTT subscriptions. As for us, we gained back lost share by adding households faster than the pre-campaign period, doubling our internal growth during the campaign and sustaining higher growth after the campaign. We engaged with a new generation of best friends and created a platform to take them from one game to another game to eventually the biggest game in the world. So for the results were phenomenal. We reached 57 million people and saw over 7 lakh participations for the contest. Most importantly, a revival of Britannia Bourbon's place in the heart of the consumers. In a world with constant change, one thing remains true. Friendship always wins. And with Britannia Bourbon, the game is always on. Thank you. Thank you. Next presentation is International Roaming. Hello, just allow me a minute to set up. Okay. Let me know once the whole screen is visible. Yes, it's visible. The whole screen? Yeah. All right. Let's see what really happens when we are getting ready for a trip. You guys, hurry up. The flight leaves in four hours. It could take time to get a taxi. There could be traffic. The plane could leave early. When we get to London, there could be a line of customs. Come on! Passport check. Camera check. Traveler's checks check. Who are you saying check to? Myself. You know, for remembering to pack the thing. Now you do a good thing, you get a check. <laughs> hey, are you ready yet? Yep, you got the tickets? Oh, got them right here. Check. You got your passport? Yeah, my third drawer in my dresser. You don't want to lose that. <laughs> oh, there it is. As we saw, we do a lot of checks for the things which are on top of our mind. Thought about activating roaming pack doesn't cross the mind until the very last minute. Hello, namaste, bonjour. My name is Dimple and I am presenting best digital strategy for Airtel International Roaming. So, this is my story. But then, my first international trip was planned. One day, while I, am, while I was seeing inter, interesting reels of influencers, I got inspired to plan a trip abroad because if everyone is going, then why not? Ne? But that meant I had to start searching. Multiple countries, dekha, budget, dekha, weather, dekha, kab jana chahiye, wo dekha, and honestly, when kab mil sakti hai, wo bhi dekha. And finally, I decided to go to Paris. 
and then I started comparing prices for flights and accommodation and wanted to get done with booking part as soon as possible. Quickly after that, I had to sort out my travel essentials. Honestly, this part was both exciting because of shopping and boring because visa, travel, forex and whatnot. And on the day of travel, I booked Uber, reached airport and got done with all formalities quickly. Post that, I boarded the flight and straight after landing, I went to Eiffel Tower and clicked lots of pictures. And like every other good kid, I called my mom and made her see the beautiful vision of Eiffel Tower. She was happy and so was I. So you all must be wondering, why am I telling you this story? Because Airtel wanted to reach out to more people like me. Airtel had upgraded their app and activating IR pack was just one click away. Hence, we wanted to drive consideration among international travelers and increase the pack adoption for their international roaming. So what strategy did we make for the same? We analyzed and realized with the increasing number of outbound travelers, nearly 13 million people had already traveled abroad in 2022. Most of their inspiration, planning, and booking processes occur online, making digital media a powerful choice for reaching them. It was imperative to use sharp signals to target potential international traveler at the right place in their right frame of mind. We therefore reached out to our audiences when they were browsing for tickets, forex, travel insurance, etc. Basically everywhere from planning, booking to voting which led to minimizing wastes that could have been there had we gone for mass media. Therefore, we chose to focus on digital-only strategy. Let me show you how we executed the same. There has been a noticeable surge in international travel among Indians, presenting an ideal opportunity to boost international roaming pack sales, which are often perceived as costly, eventually leading to bill shocks. And that's when Elta launched the International Roaming Campaign, revamping the international roaming category by significantly reducing pack rates to 133 rupees a day in the 184 countries. We strive to drive consideration among travelers and increase pack adoption. For this, we crafted a phase-wise strategy aligning with the detailed journey of potential outbound travelers. In phase one, as travelers considered their next destination and searched for it, we engaged them by focusing on dynamic ads on popular platforms. Acknowledging the significant sway influencers have on travelers' decisions for the next travel destination, we forged partnerships with multiple influencers. During phase two, when travelers were scouting various platforms to compare flight and accommodation prices, we reached them by strategically partnering with the OTAs and the international airlines. After confirming bookings during phase three, when travelers concentrated on pre-journey preparations, we conveyed our message to those purchasing travel insurance through phone pay and Paytm, and also to people searching for Forex through Google PMP. Through the Amazon DSP, we reached out to cohorts buying DSLRs, bags, passport holders, travel accessories and more. For travelers departing on foreign trip in less than 7 days, we initiated a D-7 recontact program through the OTAs, targeting travelers about to embark on international journeys using diverse methods such as push notifications, WhatsApp and customized emailers. In the fourth phase, when travelers start their international travels, for those who hadn't activated the international roaming pack, we decided to give them a real-time final nudge through the Uber heading out to the airport. Personalized messages were triggered for Airtel's own base users when they reached the international terminal. Once inside the airport, travelers were again reminded to get international packs through digital outdoor advertising and in the airport lounges using the trade desk DSP. Our strategy led to soaring results and great business success. Awareness went up by 28 percentage points for prepaid customers and 17 percentage points for postpaid customers. Consideration increased by 400 basis points. Achieved the highest ever monthly revenue, surpassing the entire quarter one revenue. Overall, the pack adoption grew by more than 40%. A 14% increase in incremental leads generated 51% more searches than the competition. 
With these concentrated efforts, Airtel is now at the forefront of delivering seamless international connectivity. But more importantly, we ensured that every Indian traveller who travelled abroad remained connected to home. To summarize the impact of digital only strategy, awareness grew by 17 percentage point among postpaid consumer and 28 percentage point among prepaid consumer. Consideration grew by 400 basis points. In the span of five months, 40 percent increment was seen in IR packet option. 67% increase in revenue of May 23 alone when compared to previous quarter. We garnered 51% more searches than the competition. And we saw 14% incremental leads from a branding campaign. Basically, we made a branding campaign work towards delivering bottom funnel metrics. So the digital only strategy delivered across the mind measures, business KPI and media metrics, making it a right media choice for the campaign. And by the way, I am planning my next trip to Japan. So see you again next year with something new. Till then, sayonara. Thank you. Next presentation is Britannia Biscuit. Hello. Uh, good afternoon, Judy. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yes. Uh, okay. Just allow me a minute to set up, please. Can you please share the computer sound? So share. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, just allow me a minute. I'm just doing that. Okay. Okay. Uh, you guys can see my screen? Yes. The entire screen? Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, Jury. I'm here to present uh, the Britannia Biscafe campaign. Right. Snacking and tea time go hand in hand. Beverages and biscuits go back a long way as preferred consumption partners. In Britannia itself, Marigold is a perfect partner to tea. Milk bikis is to a glass of milk, but there is no preferred uh, accompaniment for coffee. Right. However, when it comes to coffee, which completes our everyday life, our morning breakfast, our dates, and even our business meetings. But there isn't a snacking pair for, with coffee. Britannia wanted to fulfill this coffee snacking pair and hence launched Piss Cafe as the first made in India coffee cracker to serve as a snack accompaniment to a hot cup of coffee and thereby elevating the coffee experience. Now, this campaign uh, had two core objectives. Right, uh, the, the camp, uh, two core objectives: uh, one, launching the Britannia's first digital-only brand and establish the friendship between coffee and Biscafe. We started uh, the campaign with intrigue, with intrigue. The coffee's biggest face, with coffee's biggest face in media, Karan Johar. We built a narrative around coffee going on strike till it found its perfect companion or a snacking partner. We further amplified this with fifty-plus influencers for a duration of one week. And this was further supported with impacts, innovations, and considerations. We launched Biscafe through high impact properties across news, entertainment, and sports, and piggybacking with platforms like YouTube, Meta, Connected TV, presence on Coffee with Karan itself, and also uh, through impact on India and South Africa. The new Britannia Biscafe. It's not your regular cup of tea, a coffee cracker. That's so thin, so light, so crisp, it simply melts in your mouth. 
Need something to go with your coffee? Try the new Britannia Biz Cafe. Britannia Biz Cafe, the perfect partner to your coffee. Our second objective was to build the friendship between Biscafe and Coffee, we are to build the relevance. Hence, we partnered with YouTube using Director's Mix to drive personalization, which resulted in 22 personalized videos being created based on the user's affinity. Now, these affinities vary from business professionals to investors, to travelers, to cricket enthusiasts. Each of these audiences were, uh, were targeted with a personalized creative. How did we launch this? How did it all come together? In a world where biscuits have been the trusted companion for tea, Britannia sought to revolutionize the snacking experience by introducing the perfect partner for coffee. The coffee industry was burgeoning. People preferred brewing their own cup, creating conversations not just around coffee, but around brewing techniques, recipes, types of roasts, and even accessories. With an audience that was thriving on social media, we decided to change the conversation from just tea and biscuits to coffee and biscuits. Listen very carefully. No one says no to come to my show. My show. What do you mean she's a neo sokta, huh? Substars ne dates thi hai, lekin our superstar coffee. Understanding the preferences of the modern coffee community, Britannia tailored its launch campaign to resonate with tech-savvy millennials who cherish the coffee moments. We first created a buzz by having coffee go on strike. Coffee then enlisted coffee's best advocate, Karan Johar, to help find their partner. अपने स्ट्रॉन्ग कॉफी के लिए कुछ अच्छे स्ट्रॉन्ग पार्टनर्स दिखाओ प्लीज हाँ यू आर करण सर यस इसे देखो वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग कैंडिडेट लव टू सी इट भजिया आर यू सीरियस दैट सो लास्ट सीजन भजिया इज टू डाउन मार्केट फॉर कॉफी यार इट्स लाइक अ पी आर नाइट में गिव मी समथिंग एल्स एंड दस द हंट बिगेन लो एंड बिहोल्ड ब्रिटानिया फाउंड द परफेक्ट पार्टनर फॉर कॉफी ब्रिटानिया From intriguing storylines to personalized messaging, the campaign captivated audiences across social media platforms, sparking conversations and anticipation. Leveraging YouTube, Meta, and programmatic advertising, Britannia strategically targeted coffee consumption moments, ensuring the brand's presence during key interactions. But it wasn't just about the where or when; it was also about the who and what. We identified 22 interest affinities and sent out customized messages with the help of YouTube's dynamic creative optimization at different moments to leverage the right audience at the right time. Through this, we were able to build a Pandora's box of memories and delight the right audiences. With a 14.1% uplift in brand awareness and a 16% increase in purchase intent, Britannia Biz Cafe exceeded expectations, resonating with coffee lovers nationwide. Britannia Biz Cafe, the perfect pairing for your coffee moments, redefining snacking experiences, one bite at a time. A perfect bond was created with the whooping uh, results that seen on the media metrics, with about fourteen point one percent uplift in brand awareness and about sixteen percent uplift in the purchase intent. We also saw a whooping one hundred eight percent growth in the brand's concept product test. Thank you. Thank you. Next presentation is Tata Sound. Hi, I'm just presenting my screen. Just give me a moment, please. Um, is my screen visible? Yes. Okay. I'm ready to start. Yeah, you can start now. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am Nidhi, presenting to you the case study for the Desh Ka Namak Tata Salt. Tata Salt is one of the most trusted brands in India. It often leads brand trust chart reports across various industry reports. This comes from the multiple layers of the equity the brand has built. The cornerstone of this equity is a result of three core pillars that have been sustained and have helped build brand imagery over the years. Tez bachcho se hi to tez desh banta hai. 
शुद्धता सच्चाई की एंड देश का नमक एंड द ब्रांड स्टैट्स रिफ्लेक्ट दिस इक्विटी द ब्रांड पेनिट्रेशन स्टैंड एट सेवेंटी फोर परसेंट विच मीन्स टू आउट ऑफ एवरी थ्री हाउस होल्ड इन इंडिया यूज द ब्रांड एटलीस्ट वन से ईयर but the monthly market share drops to 31% which means there's massive leakage the consumer is not buying the brand at a monthly level because there's no product differentiator kya farak padta hai namak hi to hai all that it does is add taste to food right our competitors are local brands which occupy 41% market share and the and the price difference is as stark as 10 rupees and the consumer doesn't mind saving this extra buck as a salt is a salt in 2021 the price gap further widened and inflation caused the brand to take a 7 rupees price hike which was the steepest for the brand ever this resulted in a 5% volume drop but here's a twist our toma was consistent regular media campaigns ensured toma was stabilized which is often the first port of call for media and so we had to dig deeper our task was therefore to build consideration by building brand love and reviving memory structures that the brand has been built on past triple m studies have shown brand consideration parameters like trust and relevance have a direct impact on brand volumes therefore it was important to establish trust and relevance in our core tg mothers a survey involving 1000 mothers unveiled key insights 99% mothers believe that their children were curious and desired to know more and 76% believe that their kids lacked opportunities this was our window we had to help mothers empower children to stay ahead of the curve in an ambition to drive consideration for the brand basis category and consumer insights children can reframe our thinking children question what we desire to accept as the status quo and that challenge forces us to change so we created har sawal uthega a platform that empowers the children the future of our country to ask questions that will challenge the existing norms so to break the clutter and engage with our audiences our strategy was built on a four pronged approach we wanted to spark curiosity empower action effect change to drive conversations let me now take you through an ab to show you how we brought this to life aaj galti se kisi ki pencil tumhare bag mein aa gayi hai na kal sorry bol ke wapas kar dena hmm agar har maa apne bacche ko chutki bhar imandari roz de to desh to imandar banega hi aakhir humne bhi desh ka namak khaya hai tata namak desh ka namak To revive the generations of memory structures which Tata Salt had built, our campaign Har Sawal Uthega evoked the three pillars the brand stands on, using a four-pronged strategy: spark curiosity. To spark curiosity for a brand that reaches 74% households, our pack became our lead platform. We customized packs for each of the four zones and embedded a QR code, becoming our first point of participation. These QR codes would lead our users to a personalized chatbot. This chatbot was built on WhatsApp, the most used media platform by our core target group, mothers. This customized chatbot enabled her to input these powerful questions raised by her children. A powerful film showcasing questions encouraged mothers to share their children's questions was published on high reach platforms. मम्मी अपने बच्चों के सवाल हमें भेजिए हम इन्हें लहराएंगे सबको दिखाएंगे देश के लिए हर सवाल उठाएंगे दीज प्लेटफॉर्म विच सर्व एज द कैंपेन्स एंट्री पॉइंट एंड हेल्प अस बिल्ड अ सीमलेस कंज्यूमर जर्नी दिस फिल्म एंडेड विद सी टी ए शेयरिंग अंबर रीडिरेक्टिंग ऑल क्वेश्चन टू द वॉट्स एप बॉट Image extensions were added to introduce a visual element to augment the search text ads. When a user would search for the child's question on Google search, instead of showing a regular text ad, we intrigued the user with contextual communication using the campaign KV to drive contest participation, leading the users yet again to the WhatsApp bot. 
To empower action, we tied up with Teach India and reached out 630 plus schools across 27 cities where 5.3 lakh children participated in our campaign. Local celebrities and radio jockeys visited schools and also encouraged children through their social media handles and radio to participate by voicing their thoughts and questions. Cross-genre social to news platforms used to drive participation. Prominent mom influencers helped garner social engagement and chatter. To drive the effect change, we strategically culminated the campaign on Republic Day to drive the change and impact we were aiming for. HD website was Roadblock where we showcased children's questions along with their names and city dynamically. Where people from Patna would see Princey's name thus bringing a sense of pride to both the child and their parents. To drive conversations, each of this participating child was awarded with a certificate encouraging them to sustain their passion and drive the change. The campaign buzzed when leading celebrities like Manoj Bajpai, Sanjeev Kapoor and socially active brands like Zomato, Swiggy and Blinkit also participated. In smaller cities, we roped in social workers to answer the questions asked by children. This impact extended beyond our campaign. Schools confirmed that conversations around previously taboo topics like menstruation would be encouraged freely and responsibly. Hashtag Har Sawal Uthega trended on number two on Twitter on our day, demonstrating the campaign's ability to drive nationwide conversations. The campaign aided 8% growth in primary volumes, exceeding benchmarks of the last three years and improved penetration by 70 BPS. We also witnessed growth across key top funnel parameters. National and regional media outlets recognized our campaign for the social impact it was creating. The brand's social media presence grew by 141%, but our most important feat lies in the fact that our strategy helped us receive 80,000 questions from children across various backgrounds. These questions really helped us unlock the minds of young children. These questions ranged from worrying about the environment to social acceptance of transgenders to caste and gender discrimination. We ensured all questions were treated with equal importance. These questions were addressed by key policymakers like IS officers, IPS officers, and bureaucrats. They even promised to include relevant ideas in future policymaking. Social workers in smaller cities were also roped in to answer questions. Importantly, we were able to address all the tasks we set out to achieve. We build brand love by engaging with children, listening to them, and making them believe that their questions have the power to bring monumental changes. We also drove efficiency with scale. The campaign cut across the diversity of our country and made a small contribution to the heritage of the brand by reinstating the brand's mm -hmm. purpose and staying true to the brand's virtue of being the Desh Ka Namak. Thank you. Thank you. Next presentation is Brokeborn Red Label National K. Hello, everybody. Uh, just allow me a moment to present my screen. Okay. Let me know if you guys can see my screen. Yes, we can see it. One second. Okay, I'm ready to start. We start now. All right, thank you. Dunya ki sabse choti prem kahani. Dunya ki sabse choti prem kahani. Guys, did any of you realize? That when Shah Rukh Khan said that iconic line in Dilse, he wasn't really referring to that fleeting glimpse of Manisha Koirala. No. King Khan was just being prophetic about India's shortest yet the most celebrated love affair. 
the love story of barish and chai yes a blockbuster love story but even this blockbuster love story has a kebab mein haddi the seasonal flus the cough the cold all the perils that monsoon gets along with it as tea starts to make way for the karas and the chavan brushes but imagine what if your cup of tea could do more than just refresh you during rains what if your cup of tea could also make you strong from within and give you the immunity boost you require during monsoon introducing brookbonds red label natural care red label natural care is a unique masala chai with the ayurvedic benefits of ashwagandha muleti ginger cardamom tulsi and clove a clinically proven immunity booster masala chai but we had a problem you see for indians tea or chai is simply tea and that had led to a popular perception that natural care is just another masala chai we had this question looming in front of us that how do we change consumer perception about natural care and how do we establish it as the seasonal barish wali chai using the red label brands equity we needed to not only create awareness of the variant but also establish the relevance of the product and the connect of it with monsoons our highlighted task was to build consideration for natural care as india's barish wali chai or our monsoon wali tea to challenge and alter the existing consumer perceptions we laid down a digital first strategy to one first understand our audiences romanticism in specific geographies with tea and rains which means we put our ear to the ground across all popular social networks two seamlessly integrate our brand communications in those moments of romance triggered by a real time weather and humidity predictions and three create our own moments of nurturing this love story by bringing alive red label's purpose of swad apne pan ka in a unique initiative we further build advocacy via precision marketing by amplifying the talkability around the brand by associating with content creators and by then hyper localizing our communications to ensure that the moments we chose were relevant we decided to depart those into understanding our tgs romanticism across digital media consumption points google trends searches indicated that volumes of conversations around monsoon and since the objective was about maximizing reach we selected platforms with the highest reach amongst our tgs we then interjected after identifying those moments across meta with weather triggered contextual ads what this means was when it rained our com suggested have a hot cup of natural care and when the sun shined through it was time for a refreshing chai latte and when it got really rough don't do anything just snuggle in and get some pakoras with your natural care we then established the gold standard of natural care's importance during monsoon by shining the spotlight on the frontline heroes of monsoon our delivery forces i mean if anybody requires an immunity boost during monsoon it is our delivery forces who deliver your order within 10 minutes but are not able to get a 5 minute tea break now to bring this movement to life we collaborated with urban good content creators who had an average engagement rate of well over 10% to sustain the consideration that this activity generated for us all the content on instagram and youtube made thanking delivery people a shareable and a social movement in those key markets we en- we encouraged further brand recall by establishing product benefits in locally rendered creatives now how did all of this pan out let's have a look India loves its barish wali chai as rains bring down the temperature chai warms up our spirits what if our tea could do more what if it could take care of us during rains introducing red label natural care packed with five ayurvedic boosters this tea is scientifically proven to improve immunity during monsoon making natural care 
the perfect barish wali chai but there was one simple problem one chai which anna rendu tea adu chai also for india chai is just chai not a health drink so how do we change this popular perception first we studied india's obsession with barish chai and content you know so the playlists real stories the nostalgia contextually we activated the importance of natural care during monsoon tapping weather triggers at different times in the day and then we collaborated with creators to start a monsoon care movement ये तो सच है ना कि चाहे धूप हो बारिश हो या ट्रैफिक ये डिलीवरी वाले हमेशा हमारा साथ देते हैं बट क्या कोई उनके हेल्थ का ख्याल रखता है सच तो आज मेरे को नाश्ता करने का पेशेंट रेड लेवल नेचुरल केयर की तरफ से हमने बनाया है ये केयर फ्यूजन दिस इज नॉट अ नॉर्मल टी दिस इज रेड लेवल नेचुरल केयर टी एंड इट इज क्लिनिकली प्रूवन टू इंप्रूव योर इम्यूनिटी वी हैव सेट अप केयर स्टेशंस इन फाइव सिटीज टू मेंटेन रेजिडेंस वी रीटारगेटेड आवर व्यूअर्स विद लोकलाइज्ड कम्युनिकेशंस As monsoon got stronger, natural care's consideration got sturdier. Brand awareness soared, market share grew, and most importantly, natural care established itself as India's Barish Wali Chai. We navigated through the different strategic pillars of audience recognition, moment marketing, and brand advocacy. that helped us bring our digital strategy alive as we were able to effectively build saliency by using weather triggers to identify the relevant geographies where monsoon reflected real time now to bring alive the taste of togetherness red label's iconic swag apne pan ka our cup of care initiative was set up across 15 care stations spanned across five key cities during their individual monsoon cycles and build advocacy via this activation as content creators stimulated talkability and engagement around the brand we set out with the objective of building brand consideration right and achieved 100 bips increase in our spawned awareness by the end of the campaign not just that the moving activity of cup of care generated over 1.2 million worth of organic pr for the brand as we recorded over 11% engagement rate on all creator content but the biggest win in my opinion was that personally next year i have a barish wali chai red red label natural chai thank you Thank you. Thank you. Next presentation is a luminous inverter and battery. Sure. Oh, thank you. Uh, just give me a minute to set up. Okay. Let me know if you can see the screen in full. Yes, we can see it. Okay. Hello, everyone. I am Deepshika Bhardwaj, and today I am proudly presenting the second leg of Luminous Inverters Bijli Gul campaign. Power off, luminous on. Twenty-eight crore. That is the number of households in India, and ninety-six percent of these households are electrified. That does sound impressive, isn't it? But unfortunately, more than fifty percent. of indian households face up to 4 hours of power outage every day power cuts significantly impact the daily life of an average indian affecting essential services household activities children's studies and the functioning of daily appliances life without electricity is unimaginable 
In Indian urban households, the ownership of daily appliances is over 50% that totally rely on electricity. Yet, power backup solutions are adopted by less than 5% only. Our proprietary consumer research indicates that the purchase of power backup is the least of priority for consumers. The decision to purchase an inverter mostly occurs during power outages only to be forgotten once the electricity is restored. Also, findings reveal that people are more attentive when they are facing a problem and are more receptive to relevant solutions when they are in the middle of crisis. That is, when they are facing the zero moments of truth. Hence, it was imperative for us to identify our most receptive moments, the zero moments of truth, wherein people are experiencing the problem of power outage. We believed problems are opportunities. Every time there is a power outage, it is the perfect opportunity for Luminous to demonstrate a power backup solutions. And thus was born the idea of power of Luminous on Luminous Bij Legal campaign. Our approach to capture users at the zero moment of truth was twofold capturing the real-time moments and leveraging the contextual signals. This was backed by a multi-format, multi-platform deployment. Moments were powered by a proprietary API, the Bijli Gul API, which is fueled by real-time power cut data through Urja Mitra website. Personalized ads were served basis that and even OBD calls to reach out to tier three and tier four towns. On the other side were the contextual signals. Audio fingerprinting used the most natural reactions to power cut, like, Are, bijli chali gayi, oh ho, fir se light chali gayi, and even the switching on of torch on the mobile phones. Let us have a look at the AV to see how the entire campaign came to life. India has achieved a 96% household electrification. However, power outages still impact 50% of these households. Even then, the inverter penetration was just 4%. Luminous, the top and the most respected inverter brand in India, recognized this as a big opportunity. We identified a crucial insight. People feel the need to purchase inverters, batteries and UPS during a power outage, but often forget about it once the power is restored. Building on this, we crafted Bijli Gul Luminous On. The idea was to engage people with luminous inverters messages precisely when they were experiencing frustrations caused by a power outage. For this, we leveraged our first ever proprietary API, Bijli Gul, created with the power cut data from the Urja Mitra website. The API pulled power cut data at a pin code level. After real-time data cleansing, the Bijli Gul API transmitted outage information on a PIN code-wise basis to the demand side platform for activating advertisements. By implementing dynamic creative optimization, users idling on their smartphone during a power outage received personalized luminous inverters ads in English, English and vernacular language. Along with this, mobile notifications were triggered through audio fingerprinting technology. So, whenever users mentioned key terms like power cut, bijli gai, etc., they received luminous notifications. Furthermore, whenever people use their mobile's torchlight, we send them our notifications. For tier 3 and 4 towns facing frequent power cuts and limited media exposure, we connected through an innovative phone call. <laughs> This is how we use moment signals. We leveraged our proprietary Bijli Gul API to create personalized ads based on users' location and language. Additionally, triggering OBD calls during power cuts in media dark areas ensured maximum outreach. For contextual signals, we utilized torch activation signal and audio fingerprinting technology to deliver notifications seamlessly during power cuts. Let's shed some light on the results. Over 79 million users reached across 1,097 towns in India during power cuts. 1.5 million mobile notifications delivered. Over 212,000 OBD answered calls. 1.7 million website visits. But more than that, we empowered India and Indians to keep going during the power cut. The real validation of the effectiveness of the campaign was the impact it brought on the business. 
an impressive 11.2% sales uplift that was seen during the campaign period. Our approach this time was differentiated by its scale and refinement. From 1.0 with personalized ads in select locations to 2.0 when the scale up to uh, Pan India presence throughout. We identified and leveraged additional touch points this time, including contextual signals of audio fingerprinting and torchlight activation, along with OBD calls in media dark areas. And the journey continues when the power is off, India switches on to luminous. Our pursuit to illuminating lives of Indians through innovation and outreach remains unwavering. And we will be back with bigger and better with Legal 3.0. Thank you, judges. Thank you. And the next presentation is Horlix Plus Portfolio. Hello, give me a moment to share my screen. No problem. Please confirm you can see my screen. Yes. Just a moment. Let me do just one more check in terms of my clicker working or not. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, your time starts now. All of us. Welcome, judges. I'm here to tell you how Horlix Plus portfolio brands digitally nourishes life. This was a brief. We had to gain market share by building consideration and increasing trials. Horlicks Adults brand has high awareness among its consumers. Yet, when asked, they don't know what it provides and what nutrition it adds to an individual. Hence, we understood they needed education about lack of nutrition and its symptoms so that they can consider Horlicks Adult portfolio brands as and when they are in the need. But we need to educate the right audience at the right time with right message. Well, this might sound basics of media plan, right? However, right audiences here implies diabetic individuals, pregnant women, and women above 30 years who have low bone density. Right time implies when they are seeking health related information or those triggers in the form of pain and other symptoms. And finally, whenever they are buying products that are related to these conditions. Right message implies the communication about nutritional benefits that Diabetes Plus, Mothers Plus, and Women's Plus provides. That sounds very simple, right? We have to target 123 million diabetic individuals, 280 million women who have low bone density, and 23 million women who are pregnant at any given point in time. But multiple challenges hit us when we went live with our campaigns. Our ads got flagged under health policy when we used intent and interest targeting on Google and Meta. Doctors are banned to endorse brands. Consumers resorting to quick fixes and not thinking about these conditions may have occurred due to lack of nutrition. So we met 300 plus individuals who have these conditional issues to understand their behavior. From every answer they gave, we picked up the underlying actions like visit, booking, searching, uh, online, buying online, etc. When we closely notice their actions, it will all come under the intent to get more information, the services that they use for these conditions, and finally, their purchase behavior. With these, with these actions, we could arrive at our digital strategy, which enables us educate, engage, and entice them. With this, we educate them when they are looking or searching for relevant information, engage them using expert influencers about what they were searching for, and entice them with free samples. Now, the only thing left is to where we reach them. We identified 5x increase in symptoms and solution-related search on Google and similar contents on YouTube. 3x increase in health management apps like Practo, Beto, and Helofar. 2x increase in associated product purchases around diabetes needs like 
glucometer, its refill strips, sugar-free products, etc. Mothers needs like baby diapers, baby nutrition products, etc. And women's needs like pain relief products, massagers, etc. Collecting their trails left on digital ecosystem, we could see our audiences sharply emerging with all these platform support. We could tap their intent across Amazon, Flipkart, FarmEasy, Inmobi, and Google to educate them and retarget them on Meta. We engage them on health management apps like Practo, Beto, and Helify with expert-led influencers and led them to online consultations, and eventually got them on offline camps in association with Apollo Hospitals. Enticed them with free samples when they were buying related products online. Needless to say, we collected digitally addressable and identifiable data at every step of this journey. Let's see how all it came alive. Our digital strategy was to educate, engage, and entice. Under Educate, we focused on delivering the right message. We created respective cohorts of diabetes, women who look for informative videos on pregnancy and pain-related content. We whitelisted 1,000-plus channels where we delivered 100% SOE for our brands, consistently achieved 1.5 times higher CTR than our regular RNF campaigns. We onboarded leading health management apps like Practo, Helify, BeatO, and more, where customized creatives were served based on the search queries. Tracked the most searched queries on Google and made expert influencer videos and served them to respective audiences on these health management apps. Executed tech-enabled polygon location targeting to individuals who frequently visited maternity clinics, physiotherapists, gynecologists and diabetic centers with customized creatives. Leveraging Meta, we harness the power of remarketing by strategically utilizing our first-party data generated through YT Custom Lineup and from the health management apps. This dynamic approach aids in expanding and refining our audience pool, paving the way for effective retargeting. Under Engage, Based on most search symptoms and solutions around these conditions on Google, we conducted live expert sessions on health management apps, provided one-to-one -one live consultation sessions to retarget our users who frequently search on these health management apps, led them to participate in medical camps that we conducted in association with Apollo Hospitals roped in over 160 expert influencers and 300 plus influencer assets allowed us to promote our products while answering consumer FAQs. Under Entice, entice them with free samples when they purchased associated products on e-com apps like Amazon, Flipkart and FarmEasy. Banners were served to frequent visitors on the health management apps to claim free samples, thereby helping us collect 1P data. Across all apps, Post-sampling surveys were conducted to collect feedback and simultaneously nudge them to purchase. Free samples were distributed in medical camps conducted in association with Apollo Hospitals. The journey was of course difficult, but our efforts paid off and how. From creatives getting flagged to delivering more than 800 million impressions monthly. Our portfolio consideration increased by 400 BPS and trials by 700 BPS. Portfolio share grew by 240 BPS. We saw 12 percentage gain in sales and we were able to access 2 lakh plus first party data through sampling. Our ultimate task of educating the right audience at the right time with the right message was also delivered. To sum it up, a portfolio of brands in a sensitive category with weak conversion ratios was able to make significant gains on the task of educating, engaging, and enticing. And the results showed us our insights, approach, and strategy were in the right direction. Thank you, judges. Thank you. Next presentation, Jio Singh.
Um, is my screen visible? Full screen? Yes. Uh, I'm ready to start. Yeah, your time starts now. Good afternoon, esteemed jury members. I am Rishi Dotla, here to present Best Digital Strategy, Geo Cinema. Veni, Vidi, Vici. Veni, Vidi, Vici. I came, I saw, I conquered. We all know this famous quote of Julius Caesar, but who knew that at point in time, that it would become so true for another legend after more than 2,000 years. Yes, I'm going to talk about the story of that legend now, Geo Cinema, who came, who saw, and who conquered. In 2016, Geo Cinema was launched, but with limited content on the platform, it now featured in the top 10 list of OTT platforms at that point in time. But it aspired to be the number one OTT platform in India. So it, not, it did not just focus only on entertainment, but took the boldest step to venture into the sports category by winning two big streaming titles, Football World Cup and Tata IPL. So, I came. After winning these two big titles, Geo Cinema realized that all the cricket and football are the most loved sports in India. Consumption of the same on TV or digital is restricted to a handful of people as they had always been behind paywall and India being a price-sensitive market, very few people were ready to pay for the same. Geo Cinema realized that this could be the biggest barrier for it to become the number one sporting destination in India, especially for a tournament like IPL, which had been the mecca of all cricketing events, yet restricted to urban India only. So, I saw. Geo Cinema turned the biggest barrier into the warrior. It revolutionized the scenario of sports in India by making streaming free for all. Geo Cinema's thought through strategy made it the number one OTT platform during IPL by garnering 449 million streamers on the platform. So I conquered. But how? Let's unveil the thought through digital strategy behind achieving the seemingly impossible target and the reach the destination of becoming the number one OTT platform during IPL. The objective was to bring 400 million streamers on the platform. But who are they? Does each one of us in a country of 1.4 billion population love and enjoy cricket equally? The answer is a big no. Hence, our first challenge was to understand the consumer preferences and choices. Upon scrutinizing the dynamics of consumer preferences and choices in context of IPL, we created multiple cohorts based on need gaps and behavior. The study gave us seven distinctive consumer cohorts. Price conscious, convenience seekers, IPL guzzlers, Gen Z's, female sports enthusiasts, natives, and experienced seekers. However, it was crucial to amalgamate them in actionable media clusters. Using multiple sources of real-time, survey-based, as well as digital data, we quantified these clusters as broad audiences consisting of Gen Z's, female sports enthusiasts, and natives, targeted consisting of IPL guzzlers and convenience seekers, connected TV audiences, also known as CTV audiences, those are experience seekers, and rural audiences consisting of price-conscious consumers. We unveiled a pioneering digital marketing framework, the 5I, to drive transformative solutions and facilitate target attainment. The first I, individual, where we did a tailor-made strategy for individual cohorts rather than following a generic strategy. The second I was influence. With this, we wanted to build trust with the audience through credible and relevant influencers. The third I, involvement. Here, we engage the customers with brand or the product. Fourth I, interaction, where we persuaded the customers to sample Geo Cinema platform through our performance strategy. And lastly, intimacy, where we created buzz through exciting and innovative ideas leading to positive sentiment about Geo Cinema. Now, let's see how we rolled out the 5I framework towards achieving our goal. Geo Cinema for the first time opened up India's most favorite tournament for all cricket lovers and made it free to all. The mammoth task was to get 400 million streamers onto Geo Cinema and make them aware that IPL is now free on Geo Cinema. Our blueprint for excellence was our thought through strategy, the 5 I framework. The first I represents individual. To capture the video universe of 500 million without communication, Meta and YouTube were our obvious options. The market-wise, language-wise deployment on these platforms drove higher effectiveness. To drive mass adoption on launch day, we ran a high burst reach and frequency campaign on YouTube and Meta.
This was combined with impact properties across news, sports, e-com, utility, OTT and CTV ecosystem. On CTV, our T framework reached the width and depth of CTV universe on YouTube, Google TV, Android TV, Samsung TV and MI TV. For rural audience, creative focus was to promote free proposition amongst 190 million potential audiences. The second eye represents influence. We leveraged two of the biggest religions in India, cricket and Bollywood. Cricketers like Sachin, Dhoni, Rohit, Virat and Surya Kumar urged people to watch IPL free of cost on Geo Cinema. Additionally, Alia Bhatt was brought on board and made the face of Jito Dhandhanadan. It was amplified on social by 50 micro-influencers. The third eye represents involvement. Jito Dhandhanadan was an interactive and immersive idea to enhance viewer experience while watching IPL on Geo Cinema. With a chance of winning a car each day, J Triple E was a runaway success that brought in incremental users and time spent throughout IPL. The fourth eye represents interaction. Interaction was about persuasion. A 10-week campaign across Google and Meta ecosystem reaching out to high intent users. Theme-based campaign basis score and competition. Optimization basis one box search. Use of smart bidding for cost control were deployed on Google search. On Meta, through automated app ads, we reached the audiences who were most likely to download the app. The fifth eye represents intimacy. We understood that realizations are deep when people are caught in the right context and right moment. We identified more than nine such triggers and strategized our idea of moment marketing, creating more than 50,000 moments. Anytime any of the above moments took place, audiences were targeted with moment-based creatives. Such real-time messaging drove immediacy of action from them. The results were overwhelming. Our digital campaign reached 520 million audiences. Awareness level of the platform increased from 17% to 76% post the campaign. 70 million paid installs while organic app installs increased by 3x over the same during FIFA. 32 million concurrency on the finale match creating world record. 120 million plus CTV viewers came on platform 2.5x higher than HD. Most importantly, as against a seemingly impossible target of 400 million, the strategy could finally manage to get 449 million streamers on the platform. As per Comscore, Geo Cinema became the number one OTT platform during IPL. As we conclude our journey today, we stand in awe of the incredible feat achieved by Geo Cinema. In conquering what seemed an impossible task in this world of sports, we have not only made history, but redefined what can be achieved. Let this moment serve as a testament of power, of determination, innovation, and unwavering commitment. Thank you for joining us on this remarkable journey. Thank you. Thank you. I'll... Yeah. I'll just take a minute to set up my screen. No problem. Are you ready? Just one minute. Yep. Yes, we can start. Can yeah, you see your time starts now. All the rest. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'll be taking you through Dove's Stop the Beauty Test campaign. How many of us know her? I'm sure all. She's a beautiful dancer, actress, and fitness enthusiast, Malaika Arora. And how many of us know that one of the most fit people gets trolled every day online for the way she looks and when she walks? She's called a duck. Can you believe that? Online body shaming, 
is now a big reality, rampantly on the rise on digital, and it can destroy someone's self-esteem. We knew we had to be at the source of this. Over the years, Dove has been trying to break toxic beauty standards and create a truly inclusive vision of beauty through the Real Beauty Initiative. We realized we have to continue this journey with new and relevant interactions with consumers. The beauty test starts at a shockingly young age for women, as young as 10. What is making it worse is the online world. With women editing their pictures before posting, and the floating comments on body and appearances, we understood that this beauty judgment had to stop. Introducing Dove Stop the Beauty Test. We want to take you through this campaign that not only impacts the audience, but sensitizes them to this grave societal issue. But whom did we want to impact? To drive cultural resonance and differentiation by targeting, we broke down our audience into two parts. Those who have endured beauty discrimination and those who continue to impose toxic beauty biases on young minds. We needed to enable both these audiences to take action so that together we can all stop the beauty test before it begins. We see that rampantly the younger audience is engaging extensively online across social media and has adopted to use smartphones and messaging applications. What is also amazing to see is that digital now is mass media. My own mom has moved on from seeing GC shows and is glued to YouTube and Instagram on her phone. Statistics also say that Indian moms spend an average of two to three hours on the internet. We realized that digital was the best medium to capture both the examiners and examinees who we needed to speak to. In today's world with the digital medium, it allows us to have a two-way conversation and we wanted consumers to participate in our brand story. Considering beauty biases are so ingrained in our society, the idea was to bring a change at scale, yet one conversation at a time. The goal was to finally drive measurable, actionable change in this world of societal biases. We designed a three-pronged sequential media strategy that was to evoke, provoke, and stoke. Evoke was to drive awareness among our audiences. Provoke, to provoke conversation with both examiners and examinees. And stoke, to ensure we had to create a lasting impact, we had to stoke momentum. Firstly, to sensitize the audiences, we needed to devise a great story as content to speak about this issue digitally. We then contextually targeted the growing content on body shaming and finally reach masses by targeting examiners and examinees. To provoke the conversation with examiners and intervene at the moment of truth, we use messaging as a medium where people experience maximum body shaming comments. With the help of AI technology, we analyze more than 61 million conversations on messaging and intervene with stop the beauty test message whenever someone used any negative beauty comment. We also wanted to drive the conversation with examinees. Research showed that more than 52% of women apply filters to their photos before uploading on social media. Taking this insight, we decided to create AR filters with a provoking question. How old were you when you experienced a beauty bias? We promoted this with shortlisted short influencers by an internal tool to scale the campaign. Finally, it was now time to take this conversation from one-on-one -on -one to group chats and drive mass conversation about it. This conversation was brought alive through WhatsApp, Facebook, and with partners like She the People and Humans of Bombay, who have brought provocative stories alive. Let's now have a look at the AV to see how the campaign panned out. Dove launched a campaign that told the real stories of five schoolgirls who were all put through the beauty test too young. While the film exposed this deep-rooted societal issue, bringing about a change in people's mindset would need a much deeper engagement. With Indian kids being the youngest to reach mobile maturity globally, these beauty tests have found their way into the billions of conversations they have online. To make these conversations more mindful of a young girl's self-esteem, 
Dove partnered with India's largest smart keyboard app to create a set of unique pop-up messages to alert users whenever they typed a body shaming comment and made them think twice before they press send. To bring in more women to lend their voice to the cause, an interactive filter asked them a thought-provoking question. How old were you when you were first put through a beauty test? A question so relatable and compelling that it made hundreds of thousands of women come out and share their stories. Women-centric communities and purposeful platforms like She the People and Humans of Bombay joined the conversation by sharing inspiring stories of women who have overcome beauty biases. This integrated approach across media channels influenced millions of interactions to be more mindful towards a young girl's self-esteem. As beauty tests across the country reduced, the brand loves grew. Top publications recognized Dove's efforts and further echoed its message of TV sets across the country. Above all, Dove sparked a revolution to stop beauty tests and start building beauty confidence in young girls. Dove launched a campaign. Let me know if you can see my screen now. To summarize, as we can see, all our digital focus helped the brand drive and activate change that we needed. We were able to cover the lengths and breadths of this campaign across various touch points to bring the impact it deserved. We not only ensured that the beauty examinees were impacted, but also made sure we intervened with the beauty examiners before any kind of body shaming comment was shared. We turned every single medium into a winning story. And this was not all. Brand imagery and association grew. But most importantly, we wanted to start important conversations. This campaign won noteworthy recognition for the brands, both on international and national forums. Let's join hands to shape a world where young girls grew up free from the pressures of beauty tests and are recognized by their accomplishments. Thank you for your time today. Thank you. Next presentation is Cadbury Celebrations. Yes. Yeah. Let me know if I can start. Yes, you can start. Cool. Yeah. India is a land full of festivals more than any other in the world. Diwali, Rakhi, Eid, Christmas, and New Year's. These are some of the big ones that bring families and communities together. While every festival has its own way of celebration, there is one behavior that is common amongst them all. It's gifting. Exchanging gifts is a phenomena which we all have been indulging in for years, almost like a ritual. And then there is a box of assorted chocolates that has been an enabler in making all these moments a little extra meta, that is Cadbury celebrations. This has made Cadbury celebrations synonymous with festive gifting over the years. However, our biggest strength has also been our biggest, biggest challenge. With almost 70% of sales coming in the festive periods, there is heavy reliance on these occasions, which are time bound. This constricts the brand to grow all year round. This is where we saw the need to pivot from being just a festive gifting brand to an all year round gifting one. And we took this challenge. We conducted extensive consumer emotions, which revealed three potential locations that would be relevant all year round. Anniversaries, birthdays, and professional achievements. And amongst the three, with 65% all year round gifting, hinging on this one event, birthdays emerged as a clear winner, being relevant across age groups and more repetitive than any other occasion. This cleared out the path for Cadbury celebrations to transition from being limited to a community gift to expansion as a personal gift. 
A common phenomenon across the globe is that there is only one birthday song with the same lyrics, with the same music and the same tone. And keeping these insights in mind, we identified two key pillars to lay the foundation of our campaign. Personalization and unique experiences. And to bind these two together, we wrote on the back of the most, ta most talked about thing on digital, generative AI. And for the first time ever, anywhere in the world, we combined four generative AI tools, AI generated lyrics, AI composed music, AI generated vocals, and real time generation of personalized songs to create a platform that transforms the bland templatized and decades old birthday song into a personalized experience. Presenting to you Cadbury Celebrations, My Birthday Song, a personalized birthday song for everyone. Now let's look at an AV that shows how revolutionary this idea really was. There are 8 billion people in the world, but only one happy birthday song with the same lyrics and the same tune for everyone. Presenting Cadbury Celebrations, My Birthday Song, a personalized birthday song for everyone. We created this platform using four generative AI tools, AI generated lyrics, AI generated vocals, AI composed music, real time generation of personalized songs. Just scan a Cadbury Celebrations pack. Tell us a bit about the person you want to wish. Choose the AI generated lyrics, singer and genre and we'll create a birthday song that's all about them. Birthdays are now all about feeling like a star. Speaking of which, Bollywood icon Karan Johar also made a song for superstar Kajol. Happy birthday, Ramari, Bollywood queen. Sweetest thing ever. Bollywood's biggest star Amitabh Bachchan praised the campaign on national TV. Personalized birthday song, Cadbury Celebrations. Ke we made sure everyone remembers to make their loved one's birthday special. The internet got talking and talking. Oh, it's really unique and different. So Cadbury celebration has come up with something really interesting for birthday. Tere meme ke collections ka lage ka auction. Chalo start kare for the celebration. Happy birthday, my best friend. You can do something like We created quite a buzz. And people created over 1.2 million songs. The brand metrics skyrocketed, sparking an immediate inflection in business. The TVC had a breakthrough result. We created countless special moments, making birthdays in India truly personal and memorable. Cadbury Celebrations My Birthday Song, a personalized birthday song for everyone. With the tech in place, we got down to crafting our go-to digital strategy. We started by mapping out a typical birthday celebration journey, which became the bedrock for this campaign. Surrounding birthday celebrations, convenient gifting, personal wishing, trusted recommendations, and birthday focus content. We powered personalized celebrations by behavioral insights and created a digital strategy like never before. Starting with first discovery through integrated presence across all consumer touch points on digital media, created bespoke content across major tent poles on OTT platforms, which acted as inspiration for our consumers. Creating contextual presence on platforms where consumers shop for birthday related items like cakes and decorations. We even got involved in their conversations through flexible integrations at the specific moments when consumers were exchanging birthday wishes on WhatsApp, Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. And lastly, enabling a celebrity-like feature on ticket booking applications, which enabled them to celebrate the big day on the big screen. By the end of the day, all the birthday boys and girls got an experience, which they proudly broadcasted on the 
on their personal social media handles. The campaign had groundbreaking results. We generated over 1.2 million unique personalized songs, 8 million plus views on the brand website, and more than 350 million views throughout the campaign, which surpassed industry viewing benchmarks by 50%. The campaign also unlocked a hidden treasure of insights. The songs were created across age groups, from the young to the old. These insights will become the fuel for powering growth in the future for Cadbury celebrations. Furthermore, the initiative was covered by esteemed publications, which drove 99% positive sentiment and interactions. The love reflected in business as well. Brand consideration scores went up by 24 points and inflection in business by 10% during the non-festive period. This campaign is a masterpiece that continue to resonate long after the birthday candles are blown out, becoming self-sustaining with over 5,000 unique songs created every single day. Birthdays to sab ko achhe lagte hain. Aur jab kuch achha ho jai, to kuch neeta ho jai. So if you haven't tried it yet, just scan the QR code on the screen and create your own unique song for your next birthday celebration. Thank you. Thank you. Next presentation is Dow Hair, Hair Care. Give a moment uh, till I put, pull my presentation up. Okay. Uh, please let me know once you can see my screen. Uh, we can see, but we can also see your uh, notes. Oh, okay. One second. Give me a moment. Yeah. Are you able to see my screen now? Yes. What? Okay. Uh, let me know when I can begin. Uh, you can start now. Okay. Good afternoon, members of the jury and people watching on YouTube. Up until now, we have witnessed multiple cases of how brands have used digital as a medium to achieve their campaign targets. However, I'm here to tell you how we leverage digital, not just for one campaign, but for the entire Dove hair portfolio. The hair care category is now more cluttered than ever, with insurgent D2C brands capturing premium share and staggering growth rates. With rising mobile usage, the consumer journey is now non-linear, adding complexity to an already intricate digital journey. Hence, marketers need to in influence consumer decisions at various touch points. This led to multiple challenges in the business. 
there was a decrease in brands' mental availability on digital. We were losing share to new D2C brands. Dove, being the second largest hair brand in India, doesn't feature in the top online brands digitally. We also had to support and grow our digital first variants in 2023. To address these business challenges, our media task was to increase digital awareness and purchase intent while being competitive, aiming to win market share online. To achieve this, a structured strategy was needed. Introducing to you Digital for Growth Framework. It was built on five growth enablers. Budget for Growth helped us build strategic media investments based on the job to be done on a product level. Audience for Growth was designed for cohort level effectiveness. Platform for Growth enabled a deterministic approach to evaluate new platforms. Commerce for Growth helped us win on marketplaces and culture for growth drove differentiation. Let us look at an AV to, that showcases how we brought the overall strategy alive. Digital for Growth is a framework designed to optimize business results for Dove Hair by focusing on five key growth pillars. Utilizing the Budget for Growth tool, we allocated budgets based on the digital sales contributions of each variant, ensuring a targeted and impactful approach to budget allocation. We also mapped competitiveness at a Dove portfolio level to win in terms of share of voice across the platform. We prioritized digital media spending for our specialized products and used digital to build incremental reach for core products. In Audience for Growth, we created cohorts based on need state and interest signals with the help of first party and second party data. 1P audiences were enriched through content, DTC websites and other sources. For 2P, we utilized meta and YouTube signals. The MEC construct for audience planning ensured that we catered to the different need states of each audience while minimizing duplication between audiences for maximum reach. Platform for Growth was used to recommend new platforms based on target audience affinity, reach and time spent. These platforms were added over and above the existing channels to maximize coverage. Commerce for Growth prioritizes marketplaces based on digital sales contribution and growth expectations. We devised commerce prioritization metrics to identify the share of price and the right to win for each variant. Beauty platforms have shown double-digit growth, while mature marketplaces like Amazon see stagnant growth. Thus, making beauty platforms our priority one for all new Dove launches. To further accelerate revenue growth for our new variants, we strategically utilized e-commerce festivals and marketplace channels. Culture for Growth facilitated a deeper connection with our audience, resonating with their values and aspirations. Recognizing that Dove Curly's audience values community, we engaged with their tribe-seeking nature. This led us to partner with Ms. Malini to activate this closely-knit community. For Dove Men Plus, we amplified our partnership with the Buspoke content series. Additionally, we built Dove's portfolio differentiation by selecting influencer partnerships tailored to resonate with our variants and consumer needs. Our influencer content garnered a 20% share of voice in the hair category. This comprehensive approach propelled Dove Hair to extraordinary success in our digital journey. Overall sales surged by 9%. As consumer behavior continues to evolve, we continue embracing digital transformation and leveraging diverse platforms to drive growth. I hope you can see my screen now again. Yeah, we can see. This digital for growth strategy helped us address all our media tasks. Like in the budget for growth, by modeling historical sales data, competition scenarios, and multiple other factors, we rightly allocated the budgets at a variant level. This helped us increase digital, digital spends by 35% and increase our digital share of voice at a portfolio level. In audience for growth, with a low overlap between the audiences, we saw a 7% increase in reach in the same budgets. We differentiated audience cohorts and drove consideration and purchase intent for our new launches. 
For example, for Dove mask, we reached out to damaged hair consumers and frequent salon goers. With platform for growth, we expanded the platform mix for continuous effectiveness, maximizing growth on top of mind record. With commerce for growth, we identified the share of price and the right to win for each variant. Beauty platforms had higher spends allocation for all the Dove new launches. By leveraging e-com events, we achieved a 50% higher offtake and a 4x improvement in ROI. In culture for growth, we build an always-on approach to stay on the top of mind of consumers and curated different contents for different variants. By leveraging relevant media partnerships, we created differentiated content and drove consideration on launches and competitiveness in the beauty segment. Let us look how, how this campaign performed in terms of results. As you see on my screen, we established the five pillars for growth on each of Dub's variant. This led us to an increase in reach for sachets. Ecom sales went up for bottles. Penetration for conditioners grew by 100 basis points. We were ranked in the top five best-selling products for the curly range and achieved our targets for Dove men and Dove masks individually. Dove hair overall saw a successful year in terms of mind measures and business. For a sustained business growth, you are required a complete digital strategy, including budget, audience, commerce, and content, and not just one tech idea. Thank you. Thank you. Next presentation is Budweiser. Oh, just wait a second. Can you see the screen? Yes, we can see it. Awesome. Can you yes, we can start. Um, good afternoon, guys, esteemed panel members and fellow enthusiasts of this beautiful game called football. My name is Deva, and today I'm thrilled to show with you how we successfully integrated the FIBA World Cup into the Indian context, aligning it with Budweiser's global campaign theme, which was, no matter your tunnel, the world is yours to take. While we're at, God, while we're at the world is yours to take, this, this slide is just I, my, my state of mind right now. Yeah, coming back to the topic, Budweiser's long-standing partnership with FIFA started in 1986 and it has established itself as an iconic sponsor. Despite football's lower penetration in India, we recognized India's immense population of football fans. The 2022 World Cup in Qatar proved a unique opportunity, especially in a post-COVID environment, since everybody was looking forward to it. We knew the timing was perfect for us, since the matches would be in prime time for the viewers, in prime time for the viewers, and we really want to capitalize on it. But the football fans that we looked into, we wanted to be, uh, we wanted to reach them at every possible point. We saw that in an Indian context, the football fan was connected across. We wanted to spark conversations, share knowledge, and deeply inspire them about the sport. Our main gig was to seamlessly blend the whole FIFA thing into the background and get all the football fans talking. While we team exercise, we also realized that the Indian football fan had a very divided attention span. He or she would be 
on the match pre game post game during the game they would be talking about it discussing about it at every possible time right and we wanted to get them at every possible point before i go ahead with what it in the campaign i wanted to take you to the emotion that football is for a panther but wiser Now we saw what the emotion of football meant to Budweiser. I want to take you guys through how we did it. Right? We divided the entire thing into three into three phases. We had the hype, we had the campaign execution, and we also built up some content around nostalgia that we saw in the AV with as a partnership with Wise. Okay. So what it is to end the entire. idea behind doing this was that we want to hype up the football event but i remember as a kid right football for me i remember back in my days when it used to come on dd national it was a family thing for us like me and my dad we used to watch the game together and it it has got key memories for me and similarly i wanted to engage in the event build an nostalgia around the event with an indian touch we wanted to hype up the thing for the football fans And what did we do? We went ahead and dropped the biggest ever QR code in the cricket stadium of all places. We did over hype for hundred days, and where the entire thing led up to a golden ticket, which was the final prize, which was an all expenses paid trip for the football World Cup finals. We involved everyone in the Indian scene for this: Indian footballers, comedians, podcasters, anyone and everyone who was involved in the whole Indian scene was a part of this. We made sure that they shared it, they talked about it, and we made sure that the hype was real. So, second part about the execution. What we wanted was that we already seen that the consumer had a divided attention span. We wanted to be present in all the places where a football fan would be. Identified eight to nine specific points. We knew that a person would watch a match in a group. We, we tapped into that moment. We knew that if he's watching in a group, he would order food online. We tapped that moment. We knew that if he's watching with his friends, they would be involved in online gaming, fantasy gaming. We tapped that point. We knew that they would keep checking sites for match scores, updates. We would be there. They would be blogging online, commenting, etc. We wanted to be there. They are casual surfing people who play football games online. We tapped them there. And the cherry on the cake was that we also tapped them in sports cafes, malls, anywhere where people would go in large groups to watch these matches. The entire point of this was that we wanted to be an immersive experience for any football fan and be present wherever they are. While doing this, what we did was we went about in a 70-20-10 way, where 70% of our budgets were allocated towards targeted visibility. Just basically, we saw that. 
all the video platforms, YouTube, Facebook, OTTs of the world, we would be present there covering it. 40% would be for proximity engagement, which is basically we would cover the moments of content consumption that a football fan is doing on Twitter, on SportsKita, goals of the world. You know, people are reading, engaging, researching about things, we would be there. The third point would be your impact and innovation, which is 10% of our chunk of a budget, where we spend on sports cafes, bars, resto bars, on your food apps like Swiggy, Zomato, Blinkit, you name it. And you know, people ordering food, we would be there. So that is how we split up our approach. Now, once the campaign was on, we saw it in real time that the campaign witnessed a 17% month on month average increase in search volumes, despite the fact that the beer category, the volumes are going down. But for Budweiser, it increased. We saw that all the things that were done on these native sites, they had gathered huge amount of traction, more than 500k page views across articles, more than 100k page views, page shares. It was massive. We saw that on the food delivery apps, which was not, we were expecting it at all. We saw that on the final day of the final, 33.3% increase in number of searches for Budweiser happened, which is just unheard of, especially if you are searching for an O point or non-alcoholic drink, something. I've heard that before. Now that we did the campaign, it was massive to, to our strategic planning. We saw that all our assets, it got almost 1.6 billion impressions across all the assets. Although we know that we are assets of Messi, Sterling, Neymar, I mean, they're known faces. They have an equity of their own, but 1.6 billion is good. We had almost 63 million views of all our assets. More than that, on ground, we saw that our sales almost had a 2x net revenue growth in the month of November and December. We saw that there was 50% share of buzz that we had across primary sponsors like Coke. And these guys were spending like almost 10x to what we are doing. And it was a massive achievement for us. We saw that 17% surge in search volumes. We saw 5% associations of brand lift. And this was just exceeded even our expectations, very honestly. But, 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 but it wasn't easy because being in an alcohol category, it has its own set of challenges, right? But I think the three challenges that we faced. First was that an alcohol category, so we have limitations, we can't do bottle shots. Last one minute. Was that, it was that we had to do surrogates. The third was that we had platform limitations. But we did it with the 70 20 10 principle, and the 50% share of us that you see is, an, is a testament to that. In conclusion, I would like to add that our integration of the FIFA World Cup into the Indian context was a testament of Budweiser's commitment to innovation and connecting with the football fans worldwide. It was efficiently reaching incremental audiences in the most cost-effective way possible. Thank you for your time, guys. Have a good day. Cheers. Thank you. Next presentation is Netflix. Yes, uh, could you please give me a minute? I'm just setting up. Sure. Yes. Is my screen visible? Yes. Okay. I'll begin? Yeah, you can start. Hello, judges. A very good evening to all of you. I am Krupa Saru, and I'm here to present the digital strategy for Scoop. Now, Scoop, the Netflix series, tells the story of a determined and gritted journalist who went to extreme lengths to pursue a scoop. In the process of breaking news, Jagruti Pathak became the breaking news. How did a crime journalist end up being a co-accused in an atrocious crime? 
is what the six episode series dwells into. Now, as a matter of fact, on an average, six to 10,000 ads get served to one person in a day. An average human is incapable of grasping this bombardment, which means most content we see is ignored or forgotten about within seconds. So the challenge was formidable to break through the digital noise and engage with the viewers. We also face the challenge of resonating with a more diverse and wider audience beyond the usual Hindi GC viewers that the protagonist Karishma Tanna appealed to. The answer was in our content itself. Just like a scoop, Ben Man has served the unexpected, one pays much higher attention. So with this very insight, we decided to catch our audience's attention by laying a path of distraction through sensationalism. There are various studies that investigate that sensationalism in news is a guarantee for success in terms of selling the story to the public. Therefore, we decided to take over every platform that serves sensational news as a center of our campaign. We use the tactic of distract, divert, and engage to deliver sensationalism and captivate the audiences. We executed a five-week campaign and its brilliance was seen across medium with a focus on digital. To distract, we targeted audiences, basic specific cohorts with their interest in content-based genres. We targeted people interested in breaking news, crime thrillers, scandalous news, etc. And of course, GCs because of Karishma Tanna's following. With 265 million monthly active users, YouTube was the best fit to reach out to our audience by using custom affinity and Google affinity cohorts. We also use behavioral and interest targeting on Instagram and FB to maximize the reach. To divert, we collaborated with all major news platforms, including InShorts and also TOI, the highest reach-based news platform, to create sensational news. These contextual news helped us make every crime reported in those days as a reminder to watch Scoop. We also partnered with Glance uh, with an interesting lock screen innovation. And now finally to engage, we collaborated with 250 influencers, including mega influencers like Dhru Rathi, Zakir Khan and Tanmay Bhatt to create interesting content around our series Scoop and to deliver sensationalism at scale. Needless to say, That's the results created headlines. Scoop was among the top 10 on Netflix in 10 countries. Now let's have a look at the AV to see how we did this. That's a big, big scoop. A female journalist has been arrested. Female journalist accused of murdering a fellow journalist. Is the female journalist connected to the underworld? I'm a crime reporter. This was Netflix's latest crime drama. Scoop. But the real scoop is how a group of social media professionals shook the internet, alluring the entire nation to the series. Their reports found their modus operandi was based on strong human insight. When one is served the unexpected, one must pay higher attention. Thus, the innovative scoop approach was crafted to distract, diverge and engage. Phase 1. Distract. This pre-launch phase involved a sharp targeted audience strategy, which helped reach specific cohorts based on their preferred content genre. It kicked off with targeted strategies on YouTube, leveraging data to connect with the right audience. They further promoted these ads on Instagram and Facebook with interest and behavioral targeting to maximize the reach. Soon it spread like wildfire on GEC and news channels. A few more scoops unfolded in the second phase, Diverge. In this phase, they went undercover and found India's top shot news apps, including InShots, which strategically branded its selected crime page news as Scoop. Here's proof of how Glance, with its captivating lock screen innovation, reminded their users to watch Scoop. The nexus ran so deep that India's leading news platforms, including Times of India, featured the main protagonist in its crime thriller news, leaving readers curious to know more. 
This served as a contextual reminder to watch Scoop. Now, on to their third and final phase, Engage. They partnered with 250 influencers in the third wave to create 500 pieces of original content to have a wider impact on the minds of the audience. In the course of their investigation, they caught some truly big fish. They collaborated with the likes of Dhruv Rathi, Zakir Khan and Tanmay Bhatt to dive into the fascinating genre of crime. Scoop found itself all over social media. Music video and promos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. The digital takeover included Roadblock on Swiggy, Boot and Masthead on PhonePay, Crickbuzz and many other news platforms. And here's the final scoop. The success. 99% remarkable appreciation and recognition on social media. Social mentions for Scoop witnessed a spike. YouTube branded video content garnered 12 million organic views. On Glance, it reached 5 million people with 9.3 million Glance viewers and 74% users engaged with the content. Additionally, it reached 3 million people on InShots. Overall, the campaign led to a 4x increase in Netflix-related keyword searches. Scoop was in the top 10 on Netflix in 10 countries, including India, Singapore, Malaysia and UAE. And judges, we are ready for the next scoop. That's a Thank you so much. Have a lovely evening. Thank you. Next presentation is Britannia Nutri Choice. Hello, good evening, judges. Uh, just allow me a moment uh, to yeah. connect. Uh, good afternoon, judges. Uh, you guys can see my screen? Yes, we can see it. Perfect. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Judy. I'm here to present uh, present the Britannia Nutri Choice uh, WDD campaign. Okay. To so most of us sitting here, love snacking, uh, which ranges from sweets to savory. Indians cherish sweets, post meals, and to celebrate achievements and festivals. Tempting, right? The food habits in India is so diverse that every region has its own speciality, be it snacking, main course, or desserts. These food habits also tags along health concerns. We are called the diabetic capital of the world with over 77 million adults suffering from diabetes and is expected to reach an, an alarming high of 134 million by 2045. Making this one in 11 Indians having diabetes, uh, suffering from diabetes and their biggest problem is to manage their diet. Even our search behavior suggested that diet management is the largest searched keyword. With diet being the most searched topic, personalized diet charts was designed as a solution for the diabetic consumer. Britannia thus created an AI solution which used WhatsApp as a channel to deliver the diet charts. Now, looking into the flow, consumer scans a QR code and enters their personal details. With these inputs, the Britannia's AI solution delivered personalized diet chart created by the famous nutritionist Ryan Fernando to consumers via WhatsApp. This was again followed up with a follow-up video to ensure that consumers are following up uh, the diet. Right? This is... With the solution in place, it was imperative that we reach out to the right audiences, which is the diabetic audiences on media. Hence, we leveraged multiple data signals to pinpoint our audiences. Our signals included search, uh, targeting consumers who are searching for diabetes-related keywords through Google, uh, next location, of people visiting the diabetic clinics through Inmobi, the hyper-local targeting. Uh, next category, shoppers, people who are looking for diabetic testing kits, sugar-free products, etc. On e-commerce sites. And finally, a basis transaction, people who are transacting at diabetic clinics. Multiple touch points were leveraged, uh, were used to target these audiences. Now, the placements included in shots, Google Display, Inmobi, Amazon DSP, Meta, Twitter, and LinkedIn. How did we launch this? How did it all come together? 
Did you know that India is known as the diabetes capital of the world? In a country where diabetes affects millions, Britannia NutriChoice embarked on a mission to revolutionize diabetes management. With India facing a diabetes epidemic, managing diet and lifestyle choices became crucial for millions of individuals. There is a barrage of information online which can lead to confusion on what to follow. And the one-size-fits-all approach fell short in addressing the unique dietary needs of each person. So how do we solve for this? With over 500 million users as of 2023 in India alone, WhatsApp was the perfect platform to target our audience. But how could we individually reach millions of people with personalized messages? Enter AI. We integrated a chatbot with WhatsApp to get the job done. We decided to harness both pieces of technology, one that is integral to every Indian and one that is gaining popularity very quickly. On World Diabetes Day, we helped Britannia introduce a groundbreaking WhatsApp-based chatbot service offering customized diet plans tailored to individual needs. The mechanism is simple yet elegant. Click on a banner or scan the code, fill in your dietary details and voila! You have a personalized diet on your phone. Led by renowned nutritionist Ryan Fernando, the initiative aimed to empower people with diabetes and their caregivers. The key to a good diet is consistency. We even followed up with them a week later to ensure they stayed motivated. It was crucial that we targeted the right people here, diabetics and caregivers. We capitalized on the data from partners to find our audience. We leveraged the power of digital and print media and orchestrated a comprehensive campaign to raise awareness and drive consideration among individuals managing diabetes. With a focus on targeted messaging and contextual conversations, the campaign aimed to cut through the noise and deliver meaningful results. The campaign reached over 10 million people nationwide and had a remarkable completion rate of 73%. The campaign surpassed all expectations, demonstrating the value of personalized diet counseling at scale. Additionally, we witnessed a remarkable business growth of 36%, underscoring the effectiveness of the initiative in driving market share and brand preference. By harnessing the power of AI and WhatsApp, Britannia NutriChoice dispensed personalized diet advice to over 70 million Indians, empowering them to take control of their health and well-being. Britannia NutriChoice, empowering millions to lead healthier and happier lives. This campaign, uh, this campaign reached out to 10 million diabetics, 6,000 plus diet plans were created with over 48 unique diet charts and most importantly, 75% of our uh, rich consumers returned with further queries. With these whooping results, Britannia decided to make this as a permanent destination to help the diabetic consumers. Thank you. Thank you. Next presentation is Cadbury Oreo. Hi. Just let me know if my screen is visible. Yes. Just give me a second. Okay. Visible now? Yeah. Okay, can I start? You can start. Hi. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dhara Shah, and today I'm going to take you through how Oreo helped India revive its playfulness. Before that, let me ask you a few questions. Have you ever tried explaining someone how you spilled water directly below your pan zipper? Or have you had to ever give a speech to employees about no appraisals this year? That felt awkward, right? India, a country with 2 billion population and 22 official spoken languages, yet when it comes to uneasy situations, there's only one language, awkward silence. Official nahi hai, but unofficially, awkwardness is a widely spoken language 
It's universal and people of all ages experience such moments. Now Oreo, which is a legacy brand and once a top of mind choice for consumers, was facing challenges in a highly penetrated but a cluttered category. We realized India was losing its pay playfulness, something the brand strongly stood for. Our aim was to stand out of this clutter. So Oreo, a brand that typically converses with the millennials, decided to expand its marketing universe and reinvent a digital media strategy that's tailor-made for a new set of audience, the Gen Zs. When Indians fell at loss of words, Oreo decided to give the people of India the right playful words by bridging India's awkwardness with AI and machine learning. We introduced Oreo, Say It With Oreo, a limited edition pack with each cookie embossed with an alphabet letter. We realized to find the right playful words, we needed to find a playful voice. And thus, we began our quest with news portals. You want to see who and how did India revive its playfulness? Let's just find that out. The world has so much to say. But hey, sometimes we feel too awkward to say anything. How do I tell my parents I got a tattoo? How do I tell my spouse I forgot our anniversary? How do I tell my boss I want a raise? Clearly, the world is running out of words. So we found someone who never struggles with words and replies. Farhan Akhtar. And created a pack of playful words. Presenting Say It With Oreo. We spent hours recording Farhan Akhtar's voice and created a voice bank that captured his words, pronunciation and emotions. We then used AI to analyze our data submission and collaborated with the leading voice generative AI platform to clone his voice. But that wasn't the toughest part. We identified every tough conversation and trained machine learning to answer every question. We finally created a platform where people were able to say the things that they struggled to say. Just type in your awkward questions and get a response in Farhan's voice. I had a penny for every time I asked you to return my money. I would be rich. So, give me my money, give me my money, give me my money, give me my money, give me my money. How do I tell my partner that I don't like their cooking? Your cooking is the real deal. The only taste that helps me lose weight. Because that's the only way I would have skipped a meal. So, the next time when you're at a loss of words, just say it with Oreo. Then began the real media disruption. To reach out to a wider set of audience, we leveraged the widest reach providers, YouTube and Hotstar, to bring out India's awkward conversations. We ambushed India's WhatsApp conversations and turned every speechless responses like hmm and case into a playful one. Our tech soon caught the attention of famous celebrities like Ritesh Deshmukh, Zakir Khan, who needed a playful escape from their everyday awkward conversation. We became the first brand whose AI tech featured on Kenny Sebastian's podcast and RVCJ's YouTube web show. When Gen Z's were talking about Oppenheimer, we dropped the real marketing bomb. We contextualized our communication in sync with the movie and played it across 500 plus cinema halls. And while the campaign was going on, we studied the India's awkward questions, real time strategically retarget them on digital mediums in a playful way. It was like a real time conversation with the entire country. The fun just didn't stop there. We made use of this real-time data and put hoardings with awkward questions India wanted answers to. All this in real time. We use this data and strategically place contextually polygon targeted banners at corporate parks and metros, making them relevant and engaging. We also made the India's, we also made the biggest media crossover by integrating our AI on leading TV and live radio show for the very first time. 
This led to creation of memorable experiences and established strong personal connection for both our set of their audiences, the millennials and the Gen Zs. Now what made our campaign unique? We used tech where AI wrote real-time responses, cloning Farhan's voice. Real-time optimization by analyzing data and questions that were posted on the website. And personalization, where every question asked by audiences received a unique and a playful response. What started as a business pressure only turned into a playful business. The campaign reached a whopping 180 million 2.1 million users lauded the campaign on social media. Brand interactions on the microsite were about 1.8 million. And brand stoma increased from a 15 to a 20 BPS with a massive 20% uplift in sales. Now, why do you pay for PR when the campaign gets organic PR? Now that we've bridged the awkwardness and playfulness, our next mission is to bridge the gap between Andheri East and Andheri West fly flyover. <laughs> is plugin clear to award banta hai na, Farhan? Paka, paka. Thank you. Thank you. Nitin? Is it a meeting? Nitin? Hi, is there anything this, else? Or yeah, can, hi. Uh, no. Uh, thank you, Juris, for your valuable time. With this presentation, we are end up with this uh, afternoon session. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thanks for being part of this judging session, everybody. Uh, and uh, we would, all the jury members, we would request you to uh, give us a feedback about how did you feel about the judging. Uh, by not mention, uh, please not to mention any case study or uh, don't. Uh, take out any case study particularly just how did you feel about the judging session and uh, the organization process and uh, the physical judging a comparison of physical judging and the uh, online process how did uh, what is your feeling about it anyone would like to go ahead Yeah, very good, Nitin. I think everybody kept to their time as well. So very well uh, organized. Thank you. Thank you. So then I second that. Uh, I mean, now third or fourth year, I don't remember how many years now, but uh, it's always been on time. That's a good one. Thank you, presentations. Yes, thanks. Yeah, and I think the AVs also, uh, some of them actually were quite nice. And... Uh, the way the story was being told was quite comprehensive. So job well done for the presenters as well. And the advertising club as always, uh, you guys rock, right? So all good. Thank you for having me here. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I think, um, you know, what you guys also did really well was ensuring that, you know, we read this before the, you know, presentation because it goes hand in hand. I think both the aspects are very important uh, mm. versus the tenant. And I think that that really works. And of course, I think uh, it was very well organized, no technical glitches, which is great. Helps us stick to time. Um, and I think, uh, you know, it felt as if everybody was well prepared to present what they had to. 
Uh, so that was the good part. I think. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Uh, this concludes the session. Uh, everyone have a great day and we, we request you to uh, be part of uh, MV's uh, awards ceremony Award ceremony. on 22nd of uh, March. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Requesting all the juries to be present at the event on 22nd March at Geo Convention Center. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thank you.